hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be using a hair growth treatment spray using just one ingredient the benefits and using this simple recipe will blow your mind most of us know clove to be a spice to add flavor to food but that's not it Cloves are used for many other remedies such as improving digestion, toothache, respiratory ailments, and more. So why should you incorporate clove into your hair care routine? Here's why. Since clove is rich in beta carotene, it boosts the tissue under the scalp and heightens blood flow. The compound eugenol found in clove helps to promote hair growth when applied directly to the roots. Clove contains a number of vital vitamins and minerals that allow your hair to flourish. It also eliminates dandruff and irritated scalp conditions. Using this provides abundant and long-lasting moisture for your hair. Clove also has been known to prevent premature graying, reduces hair fall, hair thinning, balding, and a receding hairline. And the good news is most of us already have this ingredient in our cabinet. So here I'm bringing two cups of water to a boil. In a separate bowl, I'm adding two tablespoons of cloves. I like to boil the water first instead of cooking the two together to ensure that I don't lose any of the nutrients. So as you can see, the water's already starting to turn a yellowish brownish color. So what I'm gonna do is mix it a little bit and I'm gonna let this sit out for a good 24 hours to really make sure that all of the nutrients and vitamins are released into the water so that we can get the most effective results when applying it to our hair. For freshness purposes, I'll be transferring the water into a mason jar with a lid and let it sit for 24 hours. After letting it sit for 24 hours, you can see the water has turned completely brown. Now I'm going to use a strainer to remove only the juice, transferring the clove water into a spray bottle for easier application. Before applying the clove spray, you want to start off with clean hair so you can reap the most benefits. And being that I have a lot of gel and buildup from styling throughout the week, my hair could use a good cleanse. So after thoroughly rinsing my hair, it's time to apply the clove juice. And now I'm just focusing on my roots because as you know, the benefits of this is amazing. One of the things that I really enjoyed about the application is the smell. It has a really sweet smell. A lot of treatment that I have tried in the past weren't too pretty but this has a really sweet smell i also noticed that my scalp had like a really nice soothing sensation nothing too uncomfortable but just soothing and so what i did was i just made sure to fully saturate my hair and then i went in to give my scalp that extra boost and massaged and i massaged and i massaged all over to make sure that i'm really really working this into my hair improving circulation getting that blood flowing and all the goodness that my hair is going to benefit from using this spray So after using the clove spray, I decided to use it as a leave-in. It's totally up to you. You can use it as a leave-in or you can rinse it out. But I like to just get all the benefits and all the nutrients in my hair. Another thing I wanted to mention is that you only need to use this spray two to three times out of the week, which is amazing because a lot of times we forget to do certain things. And so what I like to do is follow up with an oil of my choice, which is the Jamaican black castor oil. You can use any of your favorite essential oils. What oil does is it helps to really seal in the moisture. So I'm just gonna take each, each section of my hair and evenly apply the oil just to make sure that my hair is fully moisturized. And then I'm gonna follow up with my styler, which is my olive oil eco styler gel. And I'm gonna just put my hair in my protective style and leave it in for a few days until I need to re-moisturize it. 
One thing I forgot to really do when I was in the shower is to really apply the clove water to my edges. And this has always been a problematic area for me since I can remember. The front of my hair is always so delicate and really fragile. I to really focus on that and give myself a quick massage. Using this spray will stimulate the growth of hair and revive dead follicles. So even if you're not using this every day, just using some type of oil of your choice, just give yourself a massage, which will then help to thicken the areas. So as you can see, I'm just gonna keep my hair in a protective style. And one tip I would like to give to you that really helps me to retain moisture is by using the most simple style that you can think of, which is a bun. That's literally my go-to. And I feel like it has really aided in my hair growth today and allow for a noticeable hair growth. But whenever I'm putting my hair in a bun, I always make sure to tuck my ends, as you can see I'm doing here, to make sure that they will not get tangled, pulled, or anything. And I leave it like this until I feel like I need to restyle. Protective styles are an essential part of healthy hair care. Different weather conditions cause the hair to expand or contract, wearing the fibers of the hair, making it weaker. This can lead to damage and often loss of length. Protective styles help to keep your hair healthy and allow for a noticeable hair growth. Out. okay guys so this pretty much wraps up the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope that you're feeling inspired right now i know right after you watch this video you're gonna head to your kitchen this stuff has really made a big difference in my hair let me just tell you guys really quickly my hair has not always looked this way and i get tons and tons of comments underneath certain videos you know she's mixed she's bound to have hair like this but that's not the case baby your girl has been through many trials and tribulations with my hair. I like to look at it like my hair and I have a love-hate relationship, okay? Sometimes I love my hair and other times I just hate it. I often think how easy it would be if I just slapped a relaxer back into my hair, but then I look back and reflect on how far my hair has come. It just motivates me to just keep going. Not every day are we gonna have good hair days. For somebody watching right now and you feel like you completely ruined your hair, it's damaged, there's nothing you can do. Number one prime example that your hair can be repaired, restored, and it can grow, baby, because your girl done did it all to my hair. I have relaxed it. I have dyed it. Heat damage. I done lost my damn edges, okay? It got that bad. Your girl's edges was transparent. I say all that to say, do not give up. First things to really cut out any bad habits that you may have when it comes to your hair. Sometimes we like to put them lace fronts on, but that glue is no good. Sometimes we just want a little bit of heat to make our hair flat. That heat is drying your hair out. Sometimes we just pulling it too tight because we want our hair to look neat. What you doing to them edges? Too much tension is gonna cause breakage. Certain things that we can prevent and stop to repair our hair. As you guys seen in the video, clove has so many different benefits for the hair. If you're experiencing any type of postpartum shedding, alopecia, receding hairlines, balding, thinning, any of those type of issues that you may be having and you want your hair to become thicker, you want your hair to be more moisturized, you want more length, then I highly suggest you giving this a try and let me know how it works for you. It's not an everyday thing. It makes life so much easier because being that most of us have busy schedules, literally need to do this two to three times out of the week and then keep it pushing. You must stick with this if you want to see results. And that pretty much goes for everything. I totally get it how sometimes our hair can make us feel unpretty. You know, our hair is the big part of how we feel our self-confidence you know when our hair doesn't look the best it can affect us in many ways we're gonna get it together i'm gonna end this video off get your ingredients you probably got it in your cabinet if you don't go to the grocery store let me know how it works for you if you guys enjoyed and you feel inspired and you are ready to be consistent this time give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video